everyone, this is Colin. And today we're doing a science experiment on conductors and insulators. So Colin, hmm? I want you to make a prediction. What material will melt the ice cube faster? Metal. Oh, so you think. Okay, why don't you put your hand on the metal and on the wood with the other. Okay, one feels way colder. Okay, so you predict that the metal will melt the ice cube. Okay, well let's try it. Place one ice cube on the metal pan and one on the wood. Okay, we'll set our timer. Do you want to find your timer? Let's see what happens. Okay, we've started timing. Why do you think the ice cube's melting faster on the metal pan? Um, because that I don't know. That you're not sure of. I knew it was metal, but like... Do you know anything about insulators and conductors? I don't even... I forgot what those are. Okay. A conductor... A conductor is something that attracts heat. While an insulator keeps heat in. Or doesn't attract heat. So why do you think the ice cube is melting quicker on the metal pan? This one has even melted. And this one's not even done. Just moves with water. Something that just moves with water. Which ice cube do you think is absorbing more heat? Metal. This one. This one. Do you think maybe that's why? Yeah. Maybe that ice cube is. Maybe that ice cube is attracting more heat. The metal pan's attracting more heat, which melts the ice. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then how about this one? This one's just doing nothing. Doing nothing. Okay, so wood is a type of insulator and metal is a heat conductor. Therefore, it's melting the ice cube more efficiently than the wood. So which one is the insulator? This one. Conductor. Which one's the conductor? Great job. Have you learned anything? Mm -hmm. Have you learned anything? 